is up all you sexy nerds? I am a Wildfire One. You are listening and watching Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. I should like add in magic. And uh do, do, do. <laughs> with me today is Grizzly McBee. What's up, y'all? This is episode one twenty four, season seven. Uh, we're just going to do a nerd chat today. We're, it's been a while since we sat and just talked about And I think it's mostly going to be about anime. We've been watching a lot of anime thanks to this whole uh, uh, COVID-19, which we keep bringing up, you know, because it is a thing. But uh, we've been watching a lot of anime and, and doing all this, all this, the, the isolation stuff. Quick note on that. I saw uh, a post from uh, was it the Washington Times mm -hmm. that said that... Uh, once this whole coronavirus crap is done and over with, it's going to go down in history as the largest political hoax in the history of the world. Wow. It was in the Times? In the Washington Times. Okay. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. This will be like two seconds. So, audience. How you doing? I'm not really sure how this whole quarantine thing's been working for me since I work every day. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I've just been talking to the audience while you were gone. That's okay. Anything good? No, I'm just telling the fact that I have to work all the time and cut my hair and shave. I, I went to trim, uh -huh. and my beard trimmers, like, overheated or whatever and stopped, stopped working. So I grabbed my hair, hair clippers and... Like, pulled it out and went to cut, and it just. Oh. Like, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! You went with a goatee, yeah, because you had the whole full beard thing going. Oh yeah, dude, I had it all. You had and the grizzly look down, it, it, and I was just trying to, you know, cut the split ends, and I pulled it and went to go like this, and it just. Oh, oh. I hate that. I'm. I'm careful with that because I don't like. If I shave this, I become like if I shave my goatee. I become like baby face. Baby. I look like you I, too. Me yeah. too. I look like I was. I'm you, in high school seen, again. You've seen me like completely clean shaven. I look like I belong on like a high school fucking high school musical. Football game. High school musical. Will you sing for me? <coughs> la 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 la. la. <laughs> Speaking of which, we're we're. I'm working on another nerd sing. Did I tell you about that? No, you didn't. I'm working on uh, trying to do a, a nerd sing for, and you're going to like this, Never Ending Story. Never Ending Story. So, oh, um, dude, I haven't watched that movie in so fucking long. Well, one of the half the reasons I know it, it, a lot of people are loving the whole scene from Stranger Things that we talked about. Mm hmm. And I think that that, you know, I'm not trying to mimic that sing. I just want to sing Never Ending Story. I think it'd be fun. Well, so have you seen the trailer for the next chapter? Stranger, Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Yeah, I've yeah I've saw some of it. It looked uh, interesting, and okay, of course Hopper's he, not he, dead. Did, did I not fucking call it? That he got. <laughs> we both called it. And, we yeah. both called it. We we knew yeah. at the end of the first. That's that's see what's three four whatever season last season was. Uh, I think it's gonna be chapter four now. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, the last season at the very end it showed like. Asian, Asians, Russians, and we knew for a fact. We knew for a fact it was gonna be he was gonna be in Russia because why oh, else would yeah, they show that? Because, and they said American. The last scene where they're like, <laughs> okay, we need to feed the beast. Oh, yeah. not him. We need to keep the American. Keep the American. Yeah, you know he went. Was it you that was telling me he was joking around that because uh, he was in Black Widow? That uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's what happened. He, that, that's the origin story of Black Widow? That's the origin story of Black Widow. Yeah, there's, you know, there's, there's been some stuff going on. He's still working. I'm still working. There's a lot of... A lot of... Our life still goes is still going on. It's just... we got yeah. got to be careful. Wash your hands. In case, in case anyone was wondering, no, I don't wear a mask because I'm not a pleb. i got a mask, but I don't wear it. Well... You've got a lot of masks. <laughs> I've got a... Yeah, well... Don't tell my sex life. They're usually in the background of your podcast. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> my we're, we're talking. About, oh, oh, you're talking about Halloween. Oh, oh, whew, thought you're telling my secrets. Thought you're telling my secrets. I would never tell anyone about your leather daddy mask. My leather daddy, 
Bring out the gimp! <laughs> the gimp's asleep. Uh, and yes, in case anyone is wondering, Wildfire 1 is Joe Exotic's next <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeehaw! You gotta start smoking meth, though. Oh, no. No, I like my teeth too much. You don't have to be gay. You just gotta smoke meth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just like that meme. That, that they, you know, we talked about Joe Exotic already, but uh, yeah. I like the meme that, that, that says, like, everyone said, says it or seen it already by now. You know, the one's like, uh, are you gay? No. I got tigers and meth. And then, in, like, the next the next picture is, like... Them kissing? Yeah, like, they're kissing or, like, nipples and, and nipple, nipple tassels and shit like that. And it's, it's, it, it cracks me up. And, I mean, I guess meth and tigers go a long way. So we've been watching a lot of, like, Hulu and Netflix, right? Mm-hmm. I, I just got done, I even showed you this yesterday, I just got done with a show on uh, Hulu called Erased. And it's uh, it's an anime on Hulu, and it was actually pretty good. Uh, if you get a chance, check it out. It was uh, a really good anime. It was about basically, like, this guy. It reminds me a lot of uh, the Butterfly Effect. Okay. You yeah. know, the movie with Ashton Kutcher? And... Um, but it was it was better. <laughs> like, oh, nice. It was it was very good. The story was really cool. Like this guy can he he called it oh there's a name for it reverting or resetting or something like that. And he goes mm-hmm. back in time. Usually it's like five minutes, but this time like some big things happen oh, and he has God. he goes back in time like years. Like he's a kid again. And it made me start thinking like what would how would that be like if I can go back and see my old friends when I was when I was a kid you know and how would you what would you do different how would you do things and it, it was just really really an interesting kind of like hmm kind of show uh, so I, I I would definitely say check that out you watched one recently that I told you to watch right or did you watch it and I said yeah um, it was a uh, high school girl oh yes uh, oh, I want to do a podcast with that but I got I got another guy I want to we're gonna get deep deep into that yeah. Yeah. But, um, um, high score and, goal. And for, for, for those of you that have um, been watching or listening since season one, um, well, I guess it would have been season two was my first episode, right? I think the end of season one, because you were on 2019. Uh, 23. Mm. 23 was my first one. 20 was the, yeah, you might be right. I'd, it's been a long uh, time. <laughs> yes, yes. So, um, growing up and as a kid, I was never really into anime. It was like video games, fishing, hunting, football. Um, I, you know, if you look at my, my tags on you know, my social media, I'm an outdoorsy nerd. I'm a country nerd. Um, so I was never real big into anime. Um, until this whole quarantine coronavirus crap weighing down. Um, well, no, before then, that, because you, you, you were on the episode with our five favorite animes, you just weren't into into I, it. I, it wasn't... You I, liked I mainstream. big into it. Yeah. And now it seems like the only thing I'm watching is anime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <Corona>. um, <laughs> Um, so since the beginning of the quarantine, I've watched, um, uh, what is it, is, is it wrong to find a girl, try and find a girlfriend in a dungeon? Oh, it's like, is it wrong to date a girl in a dungeon or something like that? Yeah. It's one of those really weird yeah. titles, but it's a good anime. It's really fun oh, to watch. So freaking good. Um. Was that High School DXD or D Cross D? You've seen that too, or you yeah, the D- D- DXD, which is the double D. Yeah, um, which is very, yeah, very yeah, fan servicey, very oh, pervy. Yeah. And then what is it? Uh, season three. Um, I guess there was like shit going on in Japan where they're mm. were trying to make it more friendly for kids. Well, no, it just seemed like they edited more out. I think maybe that was more of an American thing. Because they well, no no really no because season the season after that boom it was all back. Hmm. I didn't reckon. Maybe I was just so I was so desensitized by then. Because what you were saying is that like they give no fucks given. Like the first first oh, episode, yeah. there's titties flopping around everywhere. 
within like the first two minutes. Yeah, like it, it's it's just it was just no fucks given. It was like sexual innuendo after sexual innuendo. The guy, the main character, is the biggest mm. perv. He's like me if I was in an anime. Like he's he wants a harem. He wants to be the harem king. He's, he's uh, the biggest perv, but at the same time, he is a super virgin. Yes, pussy. I'd have jumped um, all over see. half those chicks. Right, and then I watch. Um, I finally watched Attack on Titan. I gotta watch season two. That I think there's a season good. three now, isn't there? Um, uh, I think it's just first two seasons on Hulu. I gotta watch. I just gotta watch. I know I gotta catch up at least to an extent because. And, and you know w- what we were originally gonna gonna talk about with this podcast was the differences in anime between Netflix and Hulu. Like, which one's better, Hulu or Netflix? And you, maybe you guys can answer opinion, that for us. What do you think? In, in my personal opinion, there's a better selection on Hulu. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's more episodes on Hulu. Yeah. Because um, with Netflix, like, um, for Bleach, for instance, because I'm... Um, I never really watched all of Bleach. Bleach is a good uh, example. Last I looked on Netflix, there's like a season. No, there's like there's like three seasons now. Oh well, on Hulu is uh, to the end. Every episode ever made for Bleach. Yeah. Um. So, and I think I'm well, that on we know of season three. Well, Bleach goes on and on. That's probably one of the longest ones I've watched, and I loved it. Well, and it's it's weird too because like on on Netflix, it's just it's gonna be you know one set. Yeah. On Hulu, there's dub, and then there's sub. Mm Mm-hmm. So for Bleach, there's like eight hundred and one episodes or whatever. But like that's including all of the dub. Another good example is is Naruto. Naruto. On Netflix, there's only so many. There's only so many seasons or episodes. On Hulu, I watched all of it. I never got to see all of Naruto, even when it was I've on like. I've never a, seen a single episode of Naruto. Mm, it, it gets it gets good the more you watch it. Like, it's very it's very kind of cringy at the beginning, uh, especially when, it, when or even when it first came out when I was younger. When I was believe it every five minutes, but. It got better. Like they, I think they realized that Americans don't need a catchphrase. Like, yeah, we and I think that we don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, give us a good story, and I think they finally got and, that. Yeah. My point is, is that all the episodes of Naruto, like the original Naruto, are on Hulu. So I agree with you. I think that between the two, uh, Netflix, Netflix is good as far as original series uh, anime, because because. Uh, High Score Girl is a Netflix anime. Yes. And they it is very good. They hit it what, out of the what park. What pissed me off about it is the fact that she never talked. She never said a freaking word. Yeah. I some of the animation kind of got me too, but I'll get into that when we actually do a podcast on that. I um, I I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example the the blonde gal with the eyelashes that went around her whole eye. Yeah, that freaked me out the first time I saw it. I was like, I was like, what is is that a deformity? What's wrong? But then you know, I, once you watch it enough, you just get used to it, and it's it's actually re- the animation's good. It's actually really good, and it's not one of those. I'll, I'll give High Score Girl this. It's not one of those like really pervy animes either. It's not like one of those fan servicey. There's a few moments where like you're like, oh, okay, but mostly it's about gaming. Like it's anime and yeah. gaming. It's two things that we fucking love. Gaming from the late eighties. Well, yeah, the I, early 90s. about the time that I—I I mean, I—I I lived that. I saw that. So did I. They were having <laughs> conversations that I had in school, and mm-hmm. it felt great to watch. But uh, so, you know, between the two of them, I think Netflix has a better selection of like Netflix-backed anime. But there's much more. There's a much better selection in general on Hulu. Yes. You yes. know, and we're not going to talk true. about like, like Funimation. The what you have to sign up for. We're not going to talk about any of that shit because honestly, like, I don't got that. 
I, yeah. I, I don't got I don't got another twenty bucks a month or what have you to, to go to throw at that. I got I got Disney Plus, I got you know, I got Netflix and I got Hulu and I'm with that I'm good. Yeah, uh, I've got Disney Plus, Netflix, Hulu, WWE Network. <laughs> of course you got WWE Network. Do you want to talk about the uh WrestleMania, you know, I'm not big on on wrestling these days, but I used to be big. And since we're talking, since we're nerd chatting, I mean, is there anything you want to talk about with the whole WrestleMania thing? Um, because I know it happened recently. It happened a few yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, you know, um, when you guys watch this, it's going to be a while. But it, it, when we're recording this, it happened recently. There were some good matches. Um, I was told it was kind of funny because. Uh, fucking like no one was there it was weird because you th- there was no one in the audience of course because of covid but um yeah but it was well, funny I because they do something and there was don't no know how, don't know how true it is but <laughs> i guess because of all of this of the fact that wwe is losing so much money now again i just saw a post on it don't know how true it is yeah you know you never know with the internet but uh the post said that uh, Vince McMahon is selling the WWE because he's lost so much money since the quarantine. Hmm. That's too bad. And he's fired in the last two, three weeks, probably 30 stu- superstars. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Well, it is. It's affecting, you know, it's affecting everything. Yeah. Everything. It does it, everything. It, now, there's nothing that's going to be unaffected by this. So yeah, there's a lot of good anime. There's a lot of good anime on both, but like, you know, uh, in my opinion, I think Hulu is more the more the winner. What do you guys think? Like, you the viewer, you the listener, the watcher. Those leave of you a who, comment. Let us know. Let us know. Cause, I mean, that's just our opinion. This is just our opinion. I want to know what you think. And if there's an anime that you want us to watch, and oh, talk about. Hell yeah. Please. Leave a message on any of our social media. Let us know on our social media. We have Twitter. We have Twitch. On Facebook. Facebook. We have Newgrounds. We have Instagram. Uh, Instagram and we have we've, we have Discord. And we yeah. even have uh, Snapchat and a phone number. And uh, Grizzly, are you are you? Pre- I have a feeling you're prepared for this time. This time. Or did you just well, realize you uh, fucked yourself? You would be wrong. <laughs> oh, okay, then you did. You fucked yourself. Grizzly, what's that phone number? 559-997-6803. Again, that number is 559-997-6803. So give, us a, give that a call if you want us to give us an idea, a thought, anything. Like a, a comment? Tell us to fuck off. Oh, so many technical difficulties. If you would like to uh, donate a computer to Grizzly McBee, please get a hold of us. Because <laughs> God knows he needs it. Doing this on his phone is bad. Even if it's a shitty laptop. He is desperate for a computer. He will suck a dick for a computer. You can go fuck yourself, because I heard what you said. (laughs) All I heard was, he can suck a dick for a computer. You can go fuck yourself. (laughs) If you'd like to donate a computer to Grizzly McBee, he will suck a dick for a computer. If it's good enough, there uh, you go. And do it twice. (laughs) So, guys, with that said and done, uh, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching, nerds. We'll see you next week on... Let's see, next week, next episode is going to be a mini-boss episode. Mini-boss. So we're going to have to come up with a pretty decent topic for that. I may have an idea, true. Okay. Stay tuned. We will see. So till then, nerds, we hope you stay nerdy. And stay sexy. Always. Always.